Hi, I'm Frank Bruno, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a customized YouTube um, channel icon. Um, if you saw my previous video, um, you know that it's pretty frustrating sometimes when you upload videos to YouTube, and YouTube will select the center of your video um, to be your uh, use the image from the center of your video for your YouTube channel icon. And it can be frustrating, as I indicated, that a lot of times you're not happy with the center of your video, or you may not even know where the center of your video is without opening it up into the editor. So now you can basically um, make a channel icon um, for YouTube channel and have the exact um, image or icon that you want every single time. Um, now I'm going to be showing you how to do that in Camtasia, but I'll also show you how to do it in Windows Movie Maker. Um, for demonstration purposes, um, what you want to do is uh, have a graphic. You have any kind of graphic, you want to have one pre made um, so that you can use the import media function. Now, if you do not have a graphic already pre made uh, that you want to appear for YouTube I, uh, channel icon, you can actually um, take a screen grab from an existing video that you have in, in Camtasia or you have another video clip that you can import to Camtasia and I'll show you how to do that and what you want to do is um, import your graphic into Cam Camtasia now um, you should have a pre-made graphic um, already ready to import but if you do not have a graphic already made but you do have a video um, let's say you already have um, a copy of the video that you had uploaded to YouTube what you can do is import that um, just click import and uh, even though this is not a video clip here it's actually an image but you can click import and I'll show you how to get a uh, click import we're just going to pretend this is actually a video clip um, same same thing as the um, image part um, just drag it into your uh, timeline and it'll ask you the project settings you want to do web you want the 640 by 480 um, dimensions on that because that's what YouTube prefers and click OK and now what you want to do is, um, if this is a video clip, you would just um, basically, um, you would want to play the video here and pause it exactly at the section of video that you would like to use for a image. Um, and what you're going to do is take that portion of the video image, and uh, we're going to use that portion to import for a graphic. Now what you want to do after you pause the video at the point in the video where you want the image, you just come up to File and Save Frame As and, and it'll ask you exactly um, what you want to name the file. And Then after you name the file, um, then it'll be all ready for you to import as a graphic. So, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, in this case, um, in this case, I've already actually have the um, the image already. Um, so what you want to do is is um, basically import your media, whether it's going to be a um, image or a video clip. And in this case, I showed you how to import a uh, video clip and then take a screen grab off of that and save it as an image um, so that you have it. Either way. What you want to do is import the media, which I've done. You drag it to the timeline. And then all you do is come over here to produce video. As you notice here, um, when you import a image and drag it to the timeline, you notice um, it's only five seconds long. This They actually convert images into video. So you click play and you watch how fast the scroller goes by. And it's only a five second long video, uh, which is actually perfect for YouTube. So, uh, what we're going to do is produce this image as a video clip and you click produce video and you'll come to the screen here um, you'll notice that you have different selections up here like web, CD, blog, iPod and all and uh, for demonstration purposes um, we're going to do um, custom production settings um, and the reason for that is so we can customize actually because if you select web up here the dimensions are okay 640 by 480 but it's going to save it in the SWF file which um, YouTube um, they, they prefer other formats such as AVI um, WMV um, DivX, XFID and stuff and those um, compression um, codecs so what you're going to do is click custom production settings and click next 
and for this demonstration purposes we're actually just going to save it as an AVI file AVI video so select AVI you don't need to um, select any of the um, create iPod or mp3 files for this click next and as far as the video compression on this you can actually um, select full frames uncompressed and it's only five seconds long that'll do just fine you don't need to mess with the colors their frame rate for this video um, audio there's no audio so you can actually uncheck those um, and here's a, a couple details that gives you what what's going on here you can actually uncheck those uh, and click next and you want to verify that um, your size is 640 by 480 if it's not they have some pre-selects up here you can do um, the file size you don't need to work uh, worry about any of that click next and again it's asking you for more info like the video info um, the reporting the watermark and and if you want to save it as HTML page which you don't oh, so you don't need to check any of this information here click next ask if you want to uh, save it as a table of contents you don't so you click next again and now it's just basically going to ask you um, where you want to, to save your file and give it a name so just click test video here for demonstration purposes um, this is all preference you can um, tick this box here to organize your produced videos into subfolders um, whether you want to play the video after um, we finish um, rendering it here and show the production results. I usually check all three of these and here's a little outline uh, a couple a little bit of information of your folder path where it's going to be saved and the file that's going to be saved. Click finish. After you click finish it's actually going to um, have a little player come up and show you <coughs> show you the um, your video clip that you just made. Click play. As you notice it's just a still image. It's not even um, there's no motion video. You see the scroller bar going by up top here indicating that it is a video. Um, just stop, close the window out. Here's uh, uh, the production results for your video. Um, the content size is actually just like under a half a megabyte. The duration of your video is five seconds. The video codec is unknown because it's um, uncompressed. And just give you statistics about it. You don't really need to worry about any of that. And basically just click finish. And la da your video is now completed and what you're gonna do next is you're gonna upload that video to YouTube and I will show you how to select that video to use as your icon in your channel um, if you don't see the video basically what you wanna do is you're gonna go to YouTube and uh, upload the video and once it appears in your account um, you have an opportunity to select um, which videos um, that you would like to appear for your channel icon. What you're going to do is select your little um, your little image um, video clip here, the five second video clip, and you're going to select that for your YouTube channel icon. And that's the way you get the exact channel you want every single time for a YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.